Hey Explorers, I'm Mariah, co-owner of Explore Estes, a private tour and ride service business in Estes Park. If you're planning a visit to Estes Park, Colorado in the month of April, this video is for you. This video will give you a detailed guide of what to expect in the month of April, and we'll talk about everything you need to make the most of your spring adventure during one of our snowiest months of the year. You can also skip ahead to the different sections of this video in the timestamps that are linked in the description below. Let's get started. Although we are slowly approaching the summer season, April is still the shoulder or off season in Estes Park. But with the weather getting warmer and more enjoyable for many, we'll start to see more people visiting versus January and February. Crowds are slightly starting to grow, but it's still much quieter when compared to our peak summer months. Similar to March, April sees about 160,000 visitors, with a notable surge on weekends and days with beautiful sunny weather. As we're still in the shoulder tours season, getting around town without a vehicle can still be difficult in April. The free shuttles in Estes Park and the Rocky Mountain National Park are not operational during this month. Ride sharing services like Uber and Lyft are not reliable and very rarely operate in Estes Park no matter the season. And the Bustang bus service from Denver is still on hiatus. Your best bet is to bring your own vehicle or utilize local ride services like us to get around the area. At Explore Estes, we are a licensed transportation business that offers rides within Estes Park, ride services down the mountain as far as Boulder and Fort Collins, and ride to or from trailheads in the Rocky Mountain National Park. See the description below for a link to request our ride services in town. Some rental options are available, but they are also very limited. Rentals include Uptop Automotive, who offer a few local vehicles, and Backbone Jeep Rentals, who specialize in 4x4 rentals. The Turo app is another rental choice with a few vehicles available. However, given unpredictable weather conditions this time of year, consider an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive vehicle. And if possible, equip your vehicle with winter or snow tires or carry tire chains as a last resort for two-wheel drive vehicles. While roads are generally well plowed, they can still become challenging. Also note that national park roads receive less frequent plowing, so ensure that you're comfortable with snowy driving skills before heading into the mountains. Even though we are approaching warmer weather, April is still one of the snowiest months in Estes Park. Days are warmer, averaging around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, but nights can still dip to around 25 degrees Fahrenheit, occasionally reaching negative temperatures. So in April, we have to embrace the unpredictability and prepare for the possibility of sudden snowstorms even on sunny days. Wind speeds average around 15 miles per hour, but can exceed 80 miles per hour in surrounding areas, particularly in the Rocky Mountain National Park. Being at higher elevations, the National Park may experience different weather patterns, so be prepared for snow and cold conditions as the temperatures will get colder the higher in elevation that you go, as it gets about three to five degrees cooler for every 1,000 feet of elevation that you gain, with wind chill making it feel even colder. In April, there is a 36 percent chance of snow each day in Estes Park and an average snowfall of about five inches. Expect a mix of sunshine and snow, which is a peculiar characteristic of the month of April. With warmer weather, snow tends to melt more quickly than it did in previous months, which leads to a lot of slush on roads and trails. However, while Estes Park might see sunny weather, you can still experience snowfall in the Rocky Mountain National Park on the same day and vice versa. As the snow begins to melt throughout the area, trails at lower elevations will be muddy and may even begin to showcase some wildflowers towards the end of the month. But higher elevation hikes will remain snow-packed for the next few months. As you plan your visit, anticipate the sunrise around 6.20 a.m. and sunsets around 7.40 p.m. When it comes to dressing for April in Estes Park, layering with waterproof outer layers is key, especially if you're hitting the trails so be sure to bundle up with more layers than you think you need. You may start off hiking in cold temperatures, but you'll warm up as you continue hiking in the sun, so layering helps a lot. Begin with a moisture wicking base layer, add a cozy fleece, and top it off with a waterproof or resistant outer layer. Be sure to wear wool socks and some waterproof boots to keep your feet dry. Leg gaiters come in handy for keeping snow out of your boots and micro spikes are essential for icy hikes on popular trails. For deep or slushy snow adventures, don't forget your snowshoes. You can rent gear in town at the Estes Park Mountain Shop so you don't have to bring your own. Also be sure to protect your face from a chilly wind with ski goggles and a net gator if you're hiking in high elevations in the Rocky Mountain National Park. Make sure you check out our detailed list of what to pack for spring in Estes Park that's linked in the description below for some of our favorite gear. Estes Park does not have any ski lifts in town or in the surrounding areas, which is why our snowy months are much quieter. 
Even though April is a very snowy month, warmer weather means the snow is beginning to melt from the area rather than continue to accumulate on the ground. Because of this, our snowy activities are beginning to gear down for the season, but some shops and activities are still closed for the season as we're not yet in the peak tourist season. The Rocky Mountain National Park is the biggest draw of visiting Estes Park, Colorado in any season, but some of our favorite activities to do in the month of April are to take a scenic drive or tour through the Rocky Mountain National Park, check out our private spring tours also linked in the description below, visit the historic Stanley Hotel, take a snowshoe hike, attend the Bigfoot Days Festival, ride the Mustang Mountain Alpine Coaster, or shop downtown on Elkhorn Avenue for souvenirs. I hope this detailed guide helps you prepare for your visit to Estes Park, Colorado in the month of April. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you visited the area in April before and what your experience was like. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more informational videos about visiting Estes Park, Colorado. We'll see you next time!